Hello welcome to my channel. In this video I will show how to draw toy carousel parts in FreeCAD. This video contains first three parts of toy carousel. I will show other parts next videos. And last video will be only assembly video. If you want to watch more assembly tutorials, you can check my other FreeCAD videos. Firstly I want to show short animation of toy carousel. I will show you how to draw bottom parts of carousel in FreeCAD. So we will use part design add-on in FreeCAD to create bottom of carousel. Now short toy carousel animation finished. Let's start with first part of toy carousel. Firstly I select part design to draw bottom part. This video contains drawing of these three parts. I click sketch button. Then I select Ziplane to create 2D design. Now I create a bottom part geometry. After that I will enter measurements to revolve it. Firstly I draw L randomly. L select. Be careful to catch constraints. I click distance constraint button. And select bottom of drawing. And enter 75 mm distance. We do same thing again. For top part. And enter 77. 5 mm distance. Now select vertical constraint. Enter 10 mm distance. Lastly I click horizontal distance button. I hold control key and click center line and bottom point. Enter 95 mm length of drawing. Select the sketch vertical axis. And press revolution button from top. First part drawing finished. Create a folder and save it. We will start drawing of next parts. Now I start to draw this part. I click sketch button. And select Ziplane. Firstly I click circle button. I draw two circles. And enter 155 mm and 165 mm constraints. Now I click pad button. We select drawing. To extrude 50 mm a solid from this selected sketch. Now click sketch button to draw a star. I use pentagon button. To create a star. I select wireframe button. To see clearly of mid plane. I click pentagon button. To draw a star. Now pentagon is created. Now I draw line from corners of pentagon. Then I enter 17.75 mm length. By selecting length constraint button. Now I click multi-line button. I draw lines corners of pentagon. T 
technical drawing link is below a video. You can see all measurements of drawing. Please don't forget to subscribe my channel. Now I click trim button. To trim lines. Only select right lines. And click pentagon lines and circle. Press delete key from keyboard. Now I add constraints and measurement of star. Follow constraint buttons. Click distance constraint. And click 2 point of star enter 28.75 mm. Click vertical distance constraint. And click 2 vertical points of star. Enter 16.88 mm. We will do same constraints. For right side of star. Enter 16.88 mm for right side. Now click vertical distance constraint button. I enter 19 mm. Don't forget to subscribe channel. Again click vertical distance constraint button. I enter 27, 58 millimeters. To see all measurements. Technical drawing is on descriptions part of video. You can open it when you draw. Now star drawing is completed. I draw a circle by catching side of star. I draw 6 mm diameter circle. Click vertical constraint. Then click horizontal distance button and under 15 mm length. Now I click symmetry button. Select the circle and vertical axis. To copy circle. Drawing is completed. Leave the sketch editing mode. And I change wireframe view later. Now I click pocket button. And select up through all. To create pocket of star. Click as is button. To leave out wireframe view. Now we can see pocket clearly. Now I will use polar pattern button. I will select Z axis to an 360 angle to copy 6 stars and circles. I change number 7 occurrences. You can select different numbers. It's up to your view.
Toy Carousel mid part is completed. Give any name and don't forget to save it. We will use these parts for assembly workbench. Now I save this part as a mid. Click file and save. Don't forget subscribe my channel and like video. This part's technical drawing link is below of video. Now I start drawing a third part. Click sketch button and select Xiplane. First I click Searle button. Then I click diameter constraint and enter 190 millimeters diameter. Now I click Leave Sketch button. To go part design workbench, I create 3mm pad. I click Top Face of Part and click Sketch button to draw a circle which is 25mm diameter. I click Circle button and click diameter constraint enter 25 mm diameter click leave sketch button and click pocket button to open pocket Now click top face of part and click sketch button to go sketch your workbench. Select circle button to draw circles and draw two circles by selecting center of part. Their diameter will be 25 millimeters and 50 millimeters. Now click leave sketch button. Click pad button to make 3 millimeters extrude to top plane. We need to rotate to part to select bottom. To rotate part, hold your mouse scroll and right click at the same time. We select bottom of part and click sketch. Now we will draw two circles. Click circle button. Draw two circles. Click circle diameter. Their diameters are 150 millimeters and 155 millimeters. After that we click leave sketch button. We create a pad. For bottom of part. Now click pad button. And enter 10 millimeters extrude to upside of part. Lastly click corners of part by pressing control key and select 1 mm from chamber tool. Third part drawing finished. Now we will save this part. Don't forget to save it. We will need these parts for assembly workbench. Don't forget subscribe my channel and like video.